We'll begin to show a moment parallelly. Hello, Owen. Welcome to Quiz Master. My name is Stefan and I will be your host today. Let me explain the rules of the game. Each contestant will be asked three questions. Each correct answer will be awarded one point. Contestant with the highest points wins. Lynn, myself and the audience behind me are all support you. We all wish you the very best of luck. Let's begin the show and give a special round of applause throughout the special contestant Lynn. Thank you. Let's begin the show. Question number one. Under normal documentation circumstances, what would be the first word in your work site in a reference entry? Is it one? The title of a publication. Title of the journal. Three, the first name of the author. Or four, the last name of the author. Lynn, since you are a special contestant today, you have been given hint. Here is the hint. What came first? The chicken nor the egg. The right part of the text. Lynn, you have 10 seconds to answer the question. Your time starts now. Lynn, your time is up. Our computer will evaluate your answer shortly. You are right. Lynn, that was awesome. <laughs> Lynn, thank you for paying attention during the previous round. Moving on to the next question. Question number two. Which of the following sentences does not have a punctuation error? Is it one? was concerned about the boy's well-being. Two, I have grapes, big as pears. Four, I cannot see the forest for the trees. All four, where did you go? Lynn, you have been chosen to receive a hint. Here is the hint, a semicolon separates the independent clauses. Lynn, you have 10 seconds to answer the question. Your time starts now. <laughs> Lynn, your time is up. Our computer will evaluate your answer shortly. <laughs> It was incorrect. The correct answer is option number two. Lynn, you made a good effort on that question. Lynn, I noticed that you were looking away from us during the previous round. Lynn, please pay attention to the quiz. Thank you. Let's keep rolling on to the next question. Question number three. Which of the following sentences is incorrect misplaced modifier? Is it one? The Diabetes Foundation. A quiet killer desperately needs funds. Two. Research into diabetes. A quiet killer needs to be funded. For the Diabetes Foundation. A worldly cause 
desperately needs funds. All for research and work the project needs funding, especially for diabetes. Lint this hint might help you. Here is a hint. A modifying phrase should provide logical information about the word or phrase to which it refers. Lynn, you have 10 seconds to answer the question. The time starts now. Lynn, your time is up, but computer will evaluate your answer shortly. That is fantastic. <laughs> Lynn, thank you for paying attention during the previous round. This is the last question of the show. Question number five. One of the following sentences is a subject verb agreement error. Which one is it? Is it one? The results of yesterday's blood test are available today. Two. The aim of these tests are to try and fail as many students as possible. The wish of the majority of people was to have a left leaning government. All four. The group splitting is to collaborate, surprised a solitary minded professor. Lynn, I will give you a hint. You may choose to use it. Here is a hint. The number singular or plural should be the same for the subject in this verb. Lynn. You have 10 seconds to answer the question. Your time starts now. <coughs> Lynn, your time is up, but computer will evaluate your answer shortly. You are right. Marvelous in spelling. during the previous round. That's the end of the show. Please wait while we evaluate your results. Lynn, you're the winner. Congratulations. It has been a pleasure to have you with us. Goodbye.